Hi, I'm Corey Weatherton. I am Director of Product Development for Integra Coach. And I'm excited to show you today the brand new 2024 Integra Coach Vision XL. Uh, this is, quite honestly, our most popular floor plan, the 34G. So when we're inside, uh, you're going to recognize, I think, very quickly why it is our most popular floor plan. What I want to do today is show you some of the new things that we've done for our model year, but then also just talk about what makes a Vision XL uh, one of the best value and best coaches built on the market today. So first of all, it always starts with the chassis, the foundation. Our goal at Integra Coach is to be the quietest riding, best handling coach at every price point in every segment. And so as a result, uh, we get this F53 chassis from Ford. It's a gas chassis and it's it's a good chassis. So it's a 22,000 pound chassis. So a lot of our competitors uh, at this price point they will maybe build on a 20 and a half thousand pound chassis. So 1500 pound less chassis, so less heavy duty, uh, but they will option the larger uh, wheels and tires on it. So it gives it the look of a 22,000 pound chassis, but we are building on a true 22,000 pound chassis because the difference is um, really the heavier duty chassis you have, the better a ride you have when you put weight on it. For instance, like a Ford F-150, if you and I go for a test drive in it, it's going to handle very well, a lot like an SUV. Uh, we get in an F-350 and all of a sudden it feels like we're driving on a brick, uh, just riding along and it's, it's just very rigid. But if you put 750 pounds in both beds of those trucks, the 150 will start to get a little bit sloppy, get a little bit saggy, a little bit loose in the steering. But the 350, it's, it drives very well with, with weight in the back, like the 150 did without that much weight. Uh, so that's kind of the analogy that I like to use when I talk about the size of chassis. This is a 22,000 pound chassis. It's a big chassis. It's designed to handle this weight. And then it leaves you ample cargo carrying capacity as well. Uh, what's unique with Integra Coach is on this coach, we put the Easy Drive Elite uh, ride and handling package on. I'll let you look at our website for the specifics on that, the specific components, but I want to point out two of them. The first thing that I want to point out is we had a Bilstein steering stabilizer. So uh, this F53, it is a great chassis, but left to its own, it tends to have a lot of play in the steering wheel, a lot of overcorrecting and driver fatigue sets in. And so we've added this Bilstein steering stabilizer it reduces a lot of the play in the steering wheel and it really results in you being a more refreshed driver when you get to your destination. Second thing I want to talk about is the Coney shocks we're adding. We're adding Coney FSD shocks, frequency selective dampening. Uh, there's two valves inside of that shock. If I take a clover leaf on an exit ramp and I start to get a little bit of body roll, uh, one valve will open up in that shock and let just a little bit of hydraulic fluid through. If I hit that big pothole, both valves will open up and just dump the hydraulic fluid through to give me the comfort. So it's a great shock. It's a very costly shock, but at the same time, we give it to you standard simply because it's the right thing to do. You have just made a healthy investment in buying a coach. We want to make sure that you use it to its fullest. If it's not a great uh, drive and great ride experience, this is going to stay parked in your driveway in your next trip. Uh, up north, down south, you'll be staying in a hotel. We want you to use this, so we're trying to do what we can to make it drive and handle better. Uh, it is a very safe coach as well. We do have side cameras and a rear backup camera. Those side cameras are activated by your turn signal, uh, so that you're able to see what's in this lane, what's in the other lane, uh, so that nothing sneaks up on you. And then also speaking about safety, uh, we have one of the safest components in the industry. May not sound like it initially, but let me explain. It's our 120 inch windshield. It's 120 inches diagonally, and it is the largest windshield in the industry. In fact, this windshield that we're putting on the Vision XL is the same windshield we're using on our Integra Coach Cornerstone. That's our high end diesel pusher uh, that has an MSRP of well over $900,000. It's the same windshield uh, because one, we want to give you that high def experience going down the road to be able to see the Rocky Mountains as you drive towards them, uh, see the coastline as you're going down to Myrtle Beach, uh, just to be able to see. The second reason, which I think is probably the more important reason that we use this windshield is because we've reduced a lot of blind spots. Our windshield goes lower than our competitors as well, it wraps around the side of the coach. And so with very little distortion in the corners, that way as I'm at the gas station, um, as I'm at the RV park, I'm able to see all the obstacles in front of me and I've uh, just created a very safe driving experience for you as the end user. And that's very important to us. And still talking about safety, we're the only manufacturer in the industry that gives you a seat belt 
in every designated seating position. And so uh, by law, we're not required to put them in, in rear facing dinettes, but we still do because we know that there will be times where you will have a full house going down the road. We wanna make sure everybody's safe. And so uh, we go above and beyond when it comes to safety. Now, this coach has an absolutely beautiful paint scheme. That is an option. So standard is gonna be fiberglass um, with a partial paint in the front and a partial paint in the rear and then graphics on the side. For this model year, we have changed our standard fiberglass color. Uh, so if this were sitting here behind me and it wasn't the full body paint, um, you'd see a different fiberglass. We went from an oyster cream uh, to more of a stone white. So definitely modernized it. Uh, coming back to coach, you will see the two year warranty. It's, uh, it is the best in the industry. Everybody else in the industry building a gas class A will have a one year limited warranty. We double that with two years. Why? Because as I already mentioned, this is a healthy investment. We want to protect your investment. But then also, I believe our engineers go above and beyond production. They do an incredible job. Our purchasing team, uh, they try to find the best components. And so we're able to give you a two year warranty when everybody else is a one year. And quite frankly, if we were going to lose a lot of money on that, we would just join uh, standard protocol like everybody else and do a one year. But we build a good coach. We can give you a two year warranty it is limited. It's limited by 24,000 miles and then also customer neglect. So um, those are the only limitations on that. Uh, you will notice that we do have an awning over the door and then a full length awning to cover the whole side of the coach. Um, that's absolutely beautiful because um, we know that when you're at the campsite, you don't want to be confined to a small 10 foot area, afraid to go out to get into the sun or, or into the rain. You've got a full length awning there. The roof is fiberglass. So it's a fully walkable fiberglass roof. On the roof, you will find 200 watts of solar. You'll find a WineGuard 2.0 Connect, a Wi-Fi range extender, and also 4G LTE hotspot. Uh, you'll find your ACs on the roof, air conditioners, and then also skylights as well. Uh, our gas A's have the most storage in the industry. Uh, we do have rotocast compartments in these. Uh, they are nice because you can wash them out, and then they are passed through as well. And so the nice thing about these is that um, you will be able to get your four foot folding table in there, your white six foot table in there, and uh, be able to have room for skis, fishing poles, et cetera. So a lot of storage on our gas class A's, um, as I said, uh, the most in the industry. Uh, these are Michelin tires. Uh, we've given you the best tires that, that we could get. Michelin, as you know, in the RV industry, they are the most sought out after tire, and so we've given you that. This coach has a 10 gallon gas electric hot water heater, it's rapid recovery. Um, I can burn propane, I can use electric, or I can use gas and electric, and it'll replenish itself about three times in an hour, so 30 gallons. So that's a lot of hot water when you're at the campsite. There is a full fiberglass cap on the rear of this coach. Uh, really, it's for aesthetic purposes, a little bit more insulation as well, but primarily for aesthetics because this Vision XL at this price point, we do want to be a step above everybody else. You're going to notice something new for this model year. Uh, we switched to square windows uh, versus or rectangle. I should say the rectangle with squared off edges. We did that because, um, as I'll show you on the inside, it is a better window. Um, the old windows we were using were the crank out style. You get about two inches of ventilation. With these, they open a lot further. And also we've eliminated um, the roller shades on the inside as well as the balances. So actually let's go on the inside so I can show you a lot of the features that we have. All right, so we're inside the 34G Integra Coach Vision XL. And as I said, this is our best selling floor plan and we have made it even better this model year. Uh, we'll start at the front of the coach, and then in a few minutes, we'll, I'll switch places and we'll start looking at the middle and the rear of the coach. Uh, this does have your front overhead bunk. It is optioned, um, so it's not standard. It is an option. It's rated at 750 pounds. It's absolutely incredible. It's not, there's not a hinge in it. It's not clunky. It's not awkward. Simply undo the safety belt, turn my key to the on position, and then I lower it. So this will go, I'll need to recline the seats a little bit, um, the top of it will get to about rib level on me. Uh, we do have a ladder and then also stored up here is a front and rear bumper. So kids cannot roll off either side. So there again, incorporating a little bit of safety wherever we can. And so uh, this front overhead bunk, I can tell you, we build probably 98% or so plus or minus of our gas class A's with this bunk. I would always encourage you to get this bunk. Uh, why? Because a lot of people plan on selling their coach in maybe five years, 10 years, 15 years. 
this front overhead bunk makes it a lot easier to resell because it is a desired feature. So even if you're not planning on using it, I would encourage you to spend a little extra money and get this. Now it does reduce um, your overhead uh, walking room. Myself, six foot three, I have to duck a little bit to go under, uh, but it does give me uh, storage cabinets, but then also since it's rated at 750 pounds, I can also take off my bunk mattress and uh, and store things up there as well. Smaller totes uh, that will be able to fit in that height. Uh, we did do a Sony head unit there. That is Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. There are uh, auxiliary lights that are on the front dash. The nice thing about these lights is I can have accent lighting in my dash. So. If I wanted to at night, I could leave those accent lights on and it would just give me a nice little night light. There's a couple 120 volt outlets up front as well as USB uh, charging ports up front as well. So for this model year, we have changed the flooring in this coach. Um, we've changed the, the vinyls in this coach, the wood color as well, uh, countertop colors. But as I mentioned on the outside, these windows are incredible. Uh, these are framed out like a residential window would be. So these no longer look like your traditional RV windows. And we love the look of it. Um, right now, the Vision XL is the only motorhome on the market that has these windows. Uh, what's great about them, as I mentioned, is that they are framed out like a residential window. They have a night shade. They have a day shade. Uh, we are inside one of our factories. So when I open this up, you're going to see... Uh, the warehouse area. But as I mentioned, they open up extremely far. Uh, so the old ones, I would have about three inches of crank room. And in this window right now, I've not measured, I've got about seven or eight inches. So you're gonna get a lot more ventilation in this coach. And so we're absolutely pleased with the aesthetics of it, with the function of it, and it's it, it's just beautiful. We couldn't be more happy. Uh, so this is the front. These are, these theater seats are powered. And so across from it, we have a televator. So I can be sitting um, at the, in my uh, recliner and watch my televator if I'd like, or I could uh, just be sitting here relaxing, enjoying conversation. Uh, one of the great things about this floor plan is it does have conversational seating. And so these front chairs will swivel around. I've got seating over here, I've got seating here. And so I could easily have a conversation of six people in this area, uh, seven, eight, if, if you want to put them on that side of the booth as well. So it's a great unit for families. It's a great unit for friends. It's, uh, it's just a lot of seating in, in a smaller motorhome. Now, when I say small, it's a 34G floor plan. So it's not excessively small, but it's not a 40 footer either. So this has been the front of the coach. Uh, let's trade places and I'll show you the middle. All right, so we're in another section of this of this beautiful motorhome, uh, the kitchen area. So what I want to point out, as I mentioned, different color solid surface. We do have solid surface sink covers as well, a single basin farmhouse style sink, and uh, just a lot of room in there for your dishes. We do give you a residential size microwave. Um, very, very large. You're going to be able to put casseroles in there and reheat it. And we also give you uh, the oven as well. Uh, some folks love the oven. Other folks are indifferent. Uh, but we feel like a lot of you guys still desire an, a, a propane oven, so we give you a propane oven with a cooktop. Now this cooktop is, is definitely heavy duty. The grates on this, uh, they are not wire, uh, rather it is, uh, it is uh, formed metal, and so they're very rigid, and as a result, um, they will, they will uh, not rattle around going down the road, and it'll hold your pot securely if you have a, a heavy pot on there with, with water and pasta in it. Um, as well, we have a lot of storage. We have a sponge sponge holder, a couple drawers there, a place for your uh, for your trash can, and then uh, storage over here for more pots and pans if you like. A drawer below the oven. Overhead cabinets abundant all the way around us. We have a fireplace. Uh, that fireplace is great simply because it does give us auxiliary heat. But then also, if I don't want the heat, I can shut it off uh, the heat portion off and just have the ambiance of the fireplace. And then also we have a hutch area here. Um, able to store your pillows, blankets, etc., in there. And then uh, when you get to your destination, uh, a nice drink holder or put your uh, candles and knickknacks on there if you'd like. Um, this motorhome, we do have uh, dual AC in it. Your front is going to be a 15K with a heat pump, your rear, no heat pump. Um, so that heat pump there again gives you nice auxiliary heat uh, for those cooler fall days or cooler spring days. Coming back, we've got a 21 cubic foot residential refrigerator. That's standard in this. This is 120 volt, so it will run off of uh, both your shore power 
It'll run off of your generator and then also your inverter, so your house batteries as well. If you'd prefer a smaller refrigerator, we do option a 15 cubic foot 12 volt refrigerator in this. So maybe you don't need the space, we will go smaller for you. Back in the hallway, we've got, uh, these are louvered, so you know naturally that's gonna be a place that we could option a washer dryer combo unit. Um, but right now there is wardrobe hanging space in there. Great thing about the combo unit is I can put my clothes in in the morning. I can go away uh, fishing for the uh, morning and afternoon. I can come back and my clothes are dry. The bathroom, you're gonna notice we have a porcelain toilet in here, as well as a dual medicine cabinet, uh, vanity area, and then a recessed stainless steel sink. And all of our faucets are stainless steel as well. Very durable. You're gonna notice in the shower that it is a nice size shower with a skylight, so if you are taller, you're not hitting your head. Uh, this coach is controlled by a Firefly uh, multiplex system. Nice thing about this is we've been using it for years. Uh, we use the same system, a little bit bigger, more complex in our Cornerstone um, and also in, in the rest of our diesel product. And it also has spilled down now into our gas product. We love this. It's very reliable. I can control everything on here from HVAC to slides to, to uh, look at my... Uh, uh, auto gen start settings. I can look at my tanks. Also on this, I can download an app to my phone. So if I'm sitting out at the campfire, I can control everything inside the coach. Coming back into the bedroom, we have a nice pocket door to divide everything off. And then you'll notice just a abundance of overhead storage there. Uh, that overhead storage, we do have a 120 volt outlet up there as well as a grommet in the center. That way, if you wanna run any cords or cables down uh, while plugged in, you can. Both sides of the bed, you have wireless charging and then also a USB port in case uh, your phone doesn't do wireless charging. A nice size bed back here uh, in the rear. This is going to uh, be, be plenty of room for two individuals, plenty of room for one individual. Probably wouldn't do three unless Junior gets scared in the middle of the night and wants to hop in bed, uh, but it is, it is a nice size bed. Wardrobe area, you will see um, a large wardrobe area like you've seen in our other motorhomes. Uh, we know that a lot of people will buy a gas class A, not for weekend use, but more so for long-term use. Could be a couple weeks, could be a month, and so we wanna make sure there's plenty of storage for you. Uh, we do give you a TV as standard behind it. There is storage area, so maybe uh, stuff some more pillows back there, any valuables you wanna hide. A lot of folks don't know that these are hinged and you can move them. And then also in this room, we still carried into our, our square and rectangle windows. This is an egress window in the rear, and then on the side, that is a ventilated window. So um, there is plenty, of, plenty of, of, of air circulation in this. And as I said, we've made a lot of improvements to this uh, Integra Coach Vision XL for this 2024 model year, and we couldn't be more happy with them. So if you have more questions, uh, feel free to go to our website if you're not already there and do the dealer locator. Find out who your local dealer is. Give them a call, ask them if they have this 34G Vision XL in stock. You'd like to come see it, ask them any questions you have. If you have a more technical question that maybe they can't answer, always feel free to call our factory. Uh, tell us what state you're from. They will direct you to our, our regional sales manager who's responsible for covering your state and they would answer any question that you do have. But again, my name is Corey Weatherton. I'm the director of product development here at Integra Coach. I want to thank you for watching this video today and hopefully you have a great summer.